Hello everyone, my name is Luis Peña and today I will be presenting a software demonstration on how to create a Gantt chart and uploading it to Microsoft Teams. This will be a very short video tutorial since I'm going to go ahead and use some shortcuts in order to finalize this software demonstration as soon as possible. Alright, so let's get started. First, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up Microsoft Excel. Now Microsoft Excel is a very powerful software because it actually offers uh, several templates on Gantt charts and we're going to go ahead and use a pre-made template already. So we already opened up the software from here what we do is we click on more templates and on the search bar we go ahead and type in Gantt G-A-N-T-T -T, and then chart we click enter and as you can see here we have several options now what we do is we'll go ahead and click on the very first option, Gantt Project Planner. We double click on it and it should open up the template. Now, as you can see here, this is a very, very good template of a Gantt chart. It's already pre-made and one of the articles I remember that actually um, it recommended Excel as an option. All right, so we are complete with this Part of the tutorial what we want to do now is we're going to go ahead and click on save click on file save as in my case I'm going to go ahead and save it on the desktop so I can have an easier time looking for it desktop I'll go ahead and save it as Gantt project planner 1 save okay and I'm going to go ahead and close it Now, since we want to collaborate with other co-workers in this project, we're going to go ahead and open up Microsoft Teams. Now, you can either use the Microsoft Teams online or web-based, or in my case, I already have installed the Microsoft Teams as an application on my desktop. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the chat where I have my co-workers. Okay. Here in my chat area. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. And now, in order for us to collaborate in this Gantt project chart, what I do is here on Excel, I click on the document once, I click and drag, and I just drop the file in there. All right. Once it's already uploaded, what you do is you go ahead and click on send and this should be shared with my other co-workers. And from there, since Microsoft Teams offers that collaboration feature, you should be able to work on the same document the two of the or sorry, the three other co-workers in real time. And that is what's very, very good about Microsoft Teams, that it offers that um, collaboration capability. All right. And that would actually be it for my software demonstration. There is no magic behind it. It's very simple. It's very easy. And once you actually upload the document, like I said, you can begin collaborating with your coworkers. Thank you very much and have a good day.